<clears throat> well, it is uh, Saturday, August 8th, 2020. I'm in the East Pioneer Mountains of Southwest Montana. Um, I am approaching the Gorge Lakes. I'm on my final pull. It's been seven or eight years since I've been in here, and I have a I either have a pretty good case of memory lapse going, or they have done some major trail rerouting in here. Um, I've counted six, six, six sturdy bridges that I don't remember, and three switchbacks um, that I don't remember. Um, this wasn't a bad trail to begin with. It's a little steep. There's a pretty good pull coming out of the trailhead. But, uh, it wasn't a bad trail. Now it's, today I've been impressed with what they've done. A lot of good work. One of the best trails I've been on in a long time. Um, supposed to be sunny. We have some overcast that's moved in. Not a bad thing. Maybe it'll make the fish a little feel a little more secure. So I'm on the final pull. As I said, there's a pretty good pull coming right out of the trailhead for almost a mile. And uh, the final pull the middle section's gentle to moderate. So, uh, I'll see you there. So this, this mountain here, Ridge, is a lobe of Tweedy Peak, Tweedy Mountain, which is the highest mountain in the range. Um, in that circa there, right here, is South Gorge Lake. That's the South Lake. The trail goes to the North Lake, and then there's a route. There's a route that kind of goes up through there, going to the South Lake. Now I'm on the final pull, as I said, I'm just below North Gorge Lake. Um, the trail kind of goes up through there. It's steep in this last section. Um, right here is the seventh pack bridge. And I, I, I don't remember this. This looks new. I don't think this was here. Um, when I was last in here in 2012 or 2013. It is a good landmark, however, because here's the trail, and what you see here is a trail that veers off this way. Um, I've never taken this trail, but um, I've seen it many times, and I am 99.9% .9 sure that's another way to get over to the South Lake. So this is North Gorge Lake in the East Pioneers. I think it's something like 9,200 feet, something like that. Um, look close. Maybe if you look close, you can see a touch of yellow in the distance. That's there's a camp over there with three or four tents, some hammocks. Um, I walked right through it. I didn't see anybody there. So they're either over at the South Lake or they're climbing something. Um, so uh, there's a fish rising. The last time I fished this was uh, 2013, I think. Um, these lakes had been regularly stocked with Yellowstone cutthroats for years. Um, and then 
in 2006, 2008, they switched them over to West Slopes, but both of these lakes have natural reproduction in them. So that kind of didn't work. And in the last five or six years, what they've been doing is they've been swamping these lakes. They stock a lot of West Slopes. And the idea is, is for them to uh, basically breed out the, the Yellowstones. And then from time to time, they uh, FWP comes in here and nets nets the population down a little bit but um, they're stocking it like every year every year or every other year something like that there's fish that rose out here um, so what I remember about this lake is um, I've caught a couple fish out of here but it, it's it was tough to fish it was they were very picky um, the South Lake fished better um, I'm hoping with, uh, what I'm hoping is with the, uh, the bigger population, the, the fish size won't be as good, but I'm hoping that the catchability will be a little bit better. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of a break and, um, then head over to the South Lake. Um, interestingly enough, after the challenges I had a week ago in the winds um, I was really concerned about this trail um, I, I was really concerned and actually I, I this was almost an enjoyable slightly enjoyable hike and I say that um, very lightly because I hike a lot I don't like hiking um, I hike a lot I'm not very good at it um, it only serves one purpose, and that's to get me into the high country um, to uh, hopefully fish that aren't very smart. Um, but I did really well. Um, it is supposed to be breezy up here today, so that could interfere with things. Um, but uh, yeah, I had my wind, didn't have any issues. Um, so, well, we'll see you over at the South Lake. curious zoom in down there and see if you can see it down in that meadow down there appears to be a horse Those are the tobacco roots in the distance. The lake is right through there. And this is the South Lake, and there's a bunch of people here. <laughs> This must be the occupants of the camp that I walk through. been fishing for but uh, what I've got I got kind of a specialty situation going on here 
I started off with a pair of Chironomids under a strike indicator and I had a bunch of fish all over the strike indicator um, but none on the none taken the pupa the Chironomid pupa so what I did is I'm using a I'm using a specialty technique here called a washing line um, it's out of the UK and basically what it is is at the end of the fly line you've got a big buoyant garish attractor fly in this case it's an orange booby and then I have um, two Chironomid pupa um, spaced up along the leader and um, so the idea is is that the the booby will float the line the float the leader I guess and um, so the Chironomids will stay in the top you know six inches or so plus these fish if they um, these fish they can take the the booby and I've already caught one and lost another one doing this so it seems to be working pretty good and the idea is you throw it out there and the first thing you do after you get it out there is you give it two strips then you let it set and then after that you can uh, kind of do whatever you want you can let it drift you can um, strip it a little bit or move it slowly so that's kind of what I'm doing here the uh, I caught a west slope that was about 11 inches and then I just lost a lost another one some kind of hybrid that was down here He hit one of the, he took one of the Chironomids, this guy did. He's a nice cut. He's a very nice cut. He looks to be some sort of a hybrid. So I've got to get down there to him. Oh, he's, he's a nice fish. He's a, he looks to be a old Yellowstone. Kind of snaky. Yeah, he's kind of snaky. All right, we got another one down here. Another. Another little Yellowstone. Oh. So apparently, they appear to like, most of them, if you let the booby drift, they're scared of it. skinny Yellowstone. Oh boy. And there he goes. Boy, he was, this is a surprise. Snaky Yellowstone. Now this appears to be a decent west slope. And he hit the booby. <clears throat> so 
so he's about 11 to 12 inches very well built um, the very next cast I caught another one West Slope. <clears throat> I think. So they like a slow. Problem. There we go. Well, I've caught eight or nine today. I've seen, I bet, 17 people in here. This is amazing. I've never seen this many people in a lake in these pine airs. It, holy cow, I've seen like five parties in here. Amazing. Pretty lake though. So this right here is Tweedy. It's the uh, north face of Tweedy. I, um, a lot of people here. I, I never thought I'd see this many people in the lake in these pioneers, even on a weekend. I just, where are all they coming from? Oh my goodness. Maybe 20 people, I don't know. I caught eight or nine. Um, the Yellowstones are skinny. Um, yeah, the Yellowstone cuts are skinny. Um, the West Slopes I caught were decent, though they were they were in good shape. Um, the reality is, until this lake gets put on a, until they stop the swamping and put this lake on a normal stocking rotation. There's going to be a lot of little fish and the top end fish aren't going to, the big fish aren't going to be there, but that's how it is. So, so I'm hiking out. It was a beautiful day up here. And I am about that view. Tobacco roots in the distance, looking down the canyon, the Gorge Creek Canyon, and check this out. There are the horses. <laughs> so the little use trail I took in to the South Lake that I took in was down here and it seemed kind of unfamiliar and the reason why is there's another one right here and this is the one that this is the one that I remember nevertheless it, they both get you to the same place and an even better shot 